essentially legal to smoke pot or carry a certain amount around Madison. The fine for getting caught with more than an ounce will cost you one dollar. Our Gabriella Becerra live downtown and shares how the community is reacting to the city's looser ordinances. Gabby? Eric, the people I spoke to today say nothing but good will come from decriminalizing marijuana in Madison, and they think it might even give people a better understanding of its benefits. Knuckleheads on State Street sells almost everything someone would need to smoke marijuana. Everything behind me, raw, um, which is one of the biggest things, is a rolling paper, and there's hundreds. General Manager Landon Meske can't sell pot itself, but he says decriminalizing cannabis in Madison will help his business. It's going to be able to allow people to smoke, whether it be CBD or uh, cannabis, uh, without that paranoia and fear. Meske says a lot of his customers ask about CBD. That's been legal in Wisconsin since 2014. He says Madison Alders taking away the fear of prosecution would convince more people to try both. The real thing, for lack of a better term, is now decriminalized. Well, this thing that has been legal, well, this has got to be okay then. Meske says he hopes the council's vote will open the door to legalizing marijuana across the state. So many benefits beyond just the medicinal benefits, you know, the tax money it generates and being able to reinvest that back into the infrastructures and make our communities, you know, good. On the other hand, Alder Mike Revere doesn't think the state legislature will make that happen anytime soon. It's taken to the voters. Uh, it, it's approved. Public opinion polls bear that out. Uh, it's unfortunate that the, you know, again, legislature in its current and future uh, membership uh, just hasn't got with the times. And Until then, Meske and his co-workers are willing to help people have a better understanding of the products. Uh, I think business, no matter what, you still need a glass pipe to smoke out of with, whether it be CBD, tobacco, or what have you. So um, we'll be here for, for anybody. Now, these ordinances only apply in Madison, and that does not include UW campus. Coming up on News 3 Now at 10, we'll share how the city plans to enforce these new ordinances. All right, Gabby, thank you.